So I'm going to introduce the UK Future Living Project, which is it is sponsored by Microsoft in collaboration with the UK Housing Association. So this project is currently being developed by all 38 master students in the Master of Financial System Engineering and Software System Engineering. So did you know that UK is currently ranked as the third country in all 28 European countries when it comes to the energy consumption? So the Housing Association is a non-profit organization that provides a wide range of lower cost social housing for people. Those people are actually ranked in the lower income groups. So the current problem is that there's currently no infrastructure for controlling, analyzing and improving the energy usage across UK. Uh, for that reason, the UK housing associations approach Microsoft and UCL to enable the first platform service that, go that is going to deal with this issue. So the benefits that will be provided by this platform is that it will create a common framework that for all the UK housing associations as well, it will provide energy markets with analytics for UK homes. So now my colleague Aaron is going to address the issues that energy markets deal with nowadays. Hello, my name is Aaron. Yeah, so uh, let's just cut this through real quick. So the basically, the, uh, the, 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 most the most concerning issue that the energy, nowadays energy market is facing is how to cut the energy cost. So if we look into these issues, I want you guys to think about uh, like your own energy plan. So with your own energy plan, it's quite boring because everything about nowadays energy plan is based on two simple readings, your electricity readings and your gas reading. It doesn't tell you much about how like uh, a specific time some energy has been consumed. So how are we going to address that? I'm going to leave this question for now. And as we move on, I want you to picture another scenario. Um, a scenario for which every day, right before you leave your house, you need to make sure that all the light switches and heating switches are off so you don't waste your energy. But that's kind of frustrating that every day when you come back, you realize that they, they've been on the whole time. And at the end of the day, you're the, you're the loser who have to pay it because you forgot to turn, turn them off. So wouldn't, wouldn't that be great if there's some, some sort of mechanism for you to control your house without being physically inside of it? So the answer to this question is yes. And how are we going to do this? <laughs> <laughs> how are we going to do that? We're going to use a cloud technology. So now I'm handing over to my uh, colleague, Evan and Stoyan. They're going to tell, tell you a little bit about how our system works and how the system can be used to address these issues in the future. Thank you. Uh, thanks a lot, Aaron. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm really proud to introduce you to our project, the UK Future Living. Like, um, as Dr. Dean said, it's a public sector system integration project, which is run by 38 students in UCL doing their master's degree in financial system engineering and software system engineering. Um, as you can see in the graph, we, we are split in eight different teams, starting with the embedded system team, which is responsible for all the sensors and devices that uh, will be installed in uh, all the participating houses. Then comes the big data collection team, which its responsibility is to collect and store a huge amount of data. Imagine coming from, I don't know, even a million different houses. And the business logic and uh, rules team, which will define the rules that we will use to analyze those data. On the next, la on the next layer, it's the informa information visualization and prediction team, which uh, will create graphs and predictions about the energy profiles and the budget for each individual house. The cloud analytics team, which is re responsible for all the anal analysis that will happen on uh, the Azure cloud system that we're gonna use in our project. And the mapping and response team, which will integrate uh, a Bing map in um, our project to display any tasks and works that each house association is supposed to work on on each of their houses. And finally, all, all the users are going to use some application, which will be a mobile application, desktop application, and a web application. Uh, as mentioned already, this project is sponsored by Microsoft and all its respective uh, departments like Microsoft Research, Windows Azure, and Extreme Computing Group. And of course, nothing would be possible without the cooperation of some of the biggest housing associations, not only in London, but across the whole UK. And in order to do that, we had to adopt all the latest technologies. So on the hardware part, the first prototypes that we used for sensors were actually manufactured in some labs here in UCL, but all the available sensors and devices that are sold in by all the <coughs> retail uh, sellers will be compatible with our system. And on the software aspect, we were based mostly 
Yep. We were based mostly on Microsoft products like Microsoft Orleans Platform, the Visual Studio TFS server, mm -hmm. Windows Azure cloud computing, and of course Hadoop for our big data collection. But uh, I'll say no more. I'll introduce you to my colleague Stoyan that will explain more details about that. Basically, as you can imagine, our system is going to be very complicated and probably won't understand a thing from that. So I'll try to explain it in a little bit simpler terms. Basically, we're going to install a bunch of sensors in each single house, and they're all going to transmit some data into the cloud. These sensors will be like heating sensors, uh, light sensors, motion, etc. All this data, the cloud, the Azure cloud, is where all the magic happens. We're going to use two major systems, which is the Microsoft Orient systems. And I'm proud to say we're the first non-commercial team outside of Microsoft that has access to the system. It's going to allow us to uh, be able to give the users the ability to control their houses remotely, probably, for example, from their mobile phone. Imagine being able to switch off your lights from your phone. That's kind of cool, but let's take it one step further. Imagine we automate all that for you. You leave the house and all the lights switch off. 30 minutes before you come from work, the heating turns on based on the GPS location from the same phone. All this will allow us not just to reduce energy waste, but literally get zero energy waste. The other big part of the system is the Hadoop platform. It's going to allow us all that data we get from our 300,000 or a million houses to be collected, analyzed, perform some business rules on it, and predictions, and produce a, a output where we can offer each individual household the ability to give them specific <coughs> plans, energy plans for their specific needs. Last but not least, we're going to offer the housing associations a nice control room where they can monitor everything that's going on with their houses. Imagine combining a two simple sensors <coughs> like motion sensor and a sound sensor. You can figure out when someone's having a party. It's not particularly interesting. However, add the timeline as well, and you can solve one of the biggest issues in the current households where someone your tenants are subletting your property to a bunch of co-workers from the construction site across the street. I believe our system has a great future and great capabilities in this sense. And my colleague Said is going to tell you a little bit more about it. All right, thanks, Tuyan. I'm going to wrap up this presentation by telling us what we are doing currently and how we intend to achieve this thing in the future. Basically, we are currently building a big data implementation that meets the requirements of the UK Housing Association. Also, we are, uh, we are also trying to investigate the various hardware that we're going to use to collect the sensor data and also do the data analytics. But for the future, our major goal is to come up with a common platform that other housing associations are going to give us data analysis that we're going to add to the cloud. I strongly believe that if this system is well implemented, the problem of energy dissipation within the UK and then in the within the UK and the Europe at large will be totally mitigated. Thank you very much. <laughs>